Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to discuss reciprocal ratios. Now I'm assuming you already know the sine, cosine and tangent ratios in trigonometry. I'm going to teach you about the reciprocal ratios, cot, sec and cosec. Before I get to the reciprocal ratios, let's remind ourselves what a reciprocal is. Let's look at some examples and the definition. If I have two thirds, what will the reciprocal be for two thirds? If you use your definition, it says a reciprocal is what you multiply a value by to get one. So let's make my reciprocal R, two thirds R will equal to one. Now, if I want to undo that equation, I'd need to divide both sides by two thirds. So that gives me R is equal to one divided by two thirds. And I'd rather say, instead of saying divided by a fraction, you're gonna say times by three out of two, and my reciprocal is three out of two. Let's look at another example. If I have a fifth, what will the reciprocal be of a fifth? So a fifth times by what is one? The opposite of multiplying by a fifth would be dividing by a fifth. So let's divide both sides by a fifth. And that would be one times by five out of one. And the reciprocal is five. Or a last example, negative eight, what will the reciprocal be of negative eight? I'm going to divide both sides by negative eight, negative one out of eight. Now, instead of doing this calculation each time, do you notice that the reciprocal is just the fraction upside down? Here we have a fifth, the reciprocal of a fifth is five. The reciprocal of negative eight is negative one out of eight. So getting into the reciprocal ratios, if you were looking for the reciprocal of sine theta, the reciprocal will be one out of sine theta. Or I know that sine theta is going to be opposite over hypotenuse. So the reciprocal will be hypotenuse over opposite. It's the fraction flipped over. Now, in order to find the reciprocal ratios, we need the original ratios we learned. Those three ratios are sine of theta, cos of theta, and tan of theta. Remember, we only write down the first three letters of the names of the ratios. Sine of theta is actually, the full word is sine. Cosine is like this, and tan stands for tangent. Now, in a right angle triangle, these ratios refer to fractions or ratios between the sides of the right angle triangle. Let me label the sides quickly. So the side opposite the right angle is always called the hypotenuse. Next, the side opposite the angle that you're interested in is called the opposite side. And the side that is left over or the side that is next to the angle, not the hypotenuse, the other side, that's called the adjacent side. Now, by now, you should know that the sine of an angle would be opposite over hypotenuse. The cosine of the angle is adjacent over hypotenuse. And the tangent of an angle is opposite over adjacent. Now, if I just had these ratios, I don't have all the possible relationships between the sides listed. So I'm going to add the reciprocal ratios on. For sine, the reciprocal will be one out of sine of theta. And remember, the reciprocal reverses the fraction. It will be hypotenuse over opposite. The reciprocal of cosine will be one out of cos of theta. And the reciprocal is hypotenuse over adjacent. And the reciprocal of tan theta will be one out of tan theta is equal to adjacent out of opposite. Now let me rearrange things a bit so that I can give you the names of the ratios. The names of these ratios are as follows. Cosec of theta, sec of theta, and cot of theta. Now let me give you the full names. Sec stands for secant. Cot stands for cotangent, and cosec 
stands for cosecant. Now you'll notice that all the abbreviations for these ratios are the first three letters of the name. However, with cosecant, if I used COS, I wouldn't know the difference between cos and cosec. So for cosecant, we write down the first five letters, or some people write down cosec, a CSC of theta, but I prefer to write cosec and the standard way in South Africa is to write cosec. So what we have so far is that sine is reciprocal ratio with cosec, cos is a reciprocal ratio with sec, and tan is a reciprocal ratio with cot. Now, generally, people remember the ratios for sine, cos, and tan using so, ka, toa. So a little memory trick that you can use to remember which ratios go with which is with your original ratios, sine, cos, and tan, if you look at the first letter of each ratio, and you look at the third letter of each reciprocal ratio, those letters are the same. So sec, the third letter is a C, and that is a reciprocal ratio of cos. Another relationship with the ratios is that you have co-ratios. So for example, tan's co-ratio is cotan or cot. Now sine and cos are co-ratios, and cosec and sec are co-ratios. And you might want to spend some time exploring why you think they're co-ratios, but reciprocal ratios apart from tan are different from co-ratios. Sine's reciprocal ratio is cosec and cos's reciprocal ratio is sec. The last thing I want to mention before I go on to some examples is that sine, tangent and secant all have reasons why they have those names. I've linked a video in the description below if you're interested to see where those names come from. All right, let's look at some examples. The first set of examples involve right angle triangles. And since I'm using trig, let's write down so, ka, toa to remember the relationships between my sides for sine, cos, and tan. And then let's get to the first question. So question one says cosec of B. So I'm dealing with this angle here. Let's label the sides that I have. So opposite the right angle will be the hypotenuse. Next to B is the adjacent, and opposite the angle is opposite. Now, cosec is the reciprocal ratio of sine, so that will be 1 out of sine of B. Now, sine of B is opposite over hypotenuse, so I'm going to find, instead of opposite over hypotenuse, I'm going to be looking for hypotenuse over opposite. So my hypotenuse is 10. My opposite, oh, I don't know the opposite. I'm going to have to use Pythagoras quickly. AC squared plus 6 squared is 10 squared. That's Pythagoras is my reason. So if I work this out, I'm not going to show all the steps. I get 8 units. So 10 out of 8, and that gives me simplified 5 out of 4. Next question, number 2. Sec of B using the same angle, sec relates to cos of b, and cos of b is normally adjacent over hypotenuse, but because I'm looking at the reciprocal, it will be hypotenuse over adjacent, and I already know my hypotenuse is 10, I can see my adjacent is 6, so I'm going to get 5 out of 3. Question 3. Now can you see here I've got a different angle. So cot relates to tan of C, but let's quickly label the sides that I need before I go on. So for tan of C, the hypotenuse stays the same, but now the opposite and the adjacent are going to switch around if I'm looking from C. So 6 is opposite now, and the hypotenuse is still 10. So 1 out of tan of C, tan is normally opposite over adjacent, so it'll be adjacent out of opposite. The adjacent is 8, the opposite is 6, and so that will simplify to 4 out of 3. Let's go on to the next side. We are on question 4. So here I have cosec of S, 
and sec of u. So cosec of s will be 1 out of sine of s plus 1 out of cos of u. Now, can you see these two ratios deal with different angles? So let's do the sine one first. Sine of s normally refers to opposite over hypotenuse. So I'm going to use hypotenuse over opposite. And again, I'm missing some information. So s u squared will be 3 squared plus 2 squared Pythagoras. And so s u will be the square root of 13. And the square root of 13 is the hypotenuse. Now, according to s, t u will be opposite and s t is adjacent. So if I go back to my question, cosec of s is going to be hypotenuse over opposite. Now let's look at sec of u. According to sec of u, the hypotenuse is still the same, but now my opposite is 3 and my adjacent is 2. So 1 out of cos of u or sec of u will be hypotenuse out of adjacent, root 3, 13, sorry, out of 2. And now you can see why these are called co-ratios, because can't you see that cosec of s and sec of u are exactly the same value? Co-ratios are ratios where the angles are complementary. In other words, the angles add up to 90. So let's quickly finish up. A half of the root 13 plus a half of root 13 will be a whole of root 13. So I'll get root 13 as my final answer. Okay, next one. Cot of u plus tan of u. So cot of u, if I look at u, cot is 1 out of tan of u plus tan of u. That's going to give me. 1 out of tan of u, tan of u is opposite of adjacent, so it's going to be adjacent out of opposite plus opposite out of adjacent. And then either I can work these out manually or I can take out my calculator to finish off. And what I get is 13 out of 6. The last question is asking me for 12 times by 6 squared of s. So that will be 12 times by 1 out of cos of s squared. So that's 12 times by cos of s is 3 out of root 13. So that will be root 13 out of 3 squared. And that will give me 52 out of 3. To end up, we're going to look at some easy questions. Working out reciprocal ratios on the calculator is super easy. The only thing is that there is no cosec button, cot button, or sec button on your calculator. So what you do is you just use the reciprocal. Cosec is the reciprocal with sine. And if I type 1 divided by sine of 35 into my calculator, I get 1.74 if I round to two decimal places. Or if I get cot of 70 minus tan of 70, that's the same as 1 divided by tan of 70 minus tan of 70 is equal to negative 2,38. Now, just be careful. If your calculator has brackets, so for example, it opens a bracket before you type in 70, remember to close that bracket. And then the last one that I have here as an example is 3 sec squared of 82, that will be 3 times by sec is reciprocal ratios with cos of 82, and I'm going to square that. So 1 divided by cos of 82 squared, and remember the 3 is not squared, just, just the sec is squared, and you get 154.89. With this last question, you could choose just to square the denominator because squaring 1 gives you 1 anywhere. So you could say 3 divided by cos of 82 all squared, and that would give you exactly the same answer. So that brings me to the end of reciprocal ratios.
Reciprocal ratios are not a big section of maths. It's more important that you master sine, cosine, and tangent, but it is nice to know them, and sometimes it is helpful to use them as well.